something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. Michio Kaku, the popular theoretical physicist, has made an astonishing discovery regarding images captured by the James Webb Telescope. You see, James Webb has done it again. NASA spotted not one, not two, but six gigantic galaxies that are as massive as our very own Milky Way. What's more, these galaxies date back to the very beginning of the universe, making them quite the cosmic time capsule. But here's the thing, these massive galaxies are not some normal galaxies we know of. They are so huge that they defy our current understanding of the universe. It's absolutely mind-boggling and exhilarating at the same time. A group of astronomers found six really big galaxies that were born not long after the Big Bang. These galaxies are called universe breakers because they have almost as many stars as our own Milky Way galaxy. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Scientists thought that the early universe wouldn't be able to create galaxies so rapidly. Theoretically, there wouldn't have been enough time for these galaxies to form. Although we don't know for sure when the first group of stars started merging together to make the galaxies we see today, scientists who study the origin and structure of the universe have estimated that this process began to take shape slowly during the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Scientists believe that after one to two billion years from the birth of the universe, early proto-galaxies grew up and turned into dwarf galaxies. These young galaxies then started to eat each other up, getting bigger and bigger until they became galaxies like our own Milky Way. When we look deeper into the universe, we are able to see light from more distant sources than existed further back in time. This is because light travels at a constant speed through the empty spaces of the universe. Recently, astronomers used the James Webb Telescope to study light from about 13.5 billion years ago. They found that huge galaxies had already formed shortly after the Big Bang when the universe was only 3% of its current age. How in the world is that even possible? It seems like we have to rethink our ideas about the universe all over again, because the galaxies are much bigger than we previously thought. This is causing a conflict with 99% of the current models for how the universe works. So we need to either change these models or start all over again with a new understanding of how galaxies are created. Did you know that the Milky Way only makes one or two new stars each year? That's not a lot compared to some of these galaxies out there. In fact, to create all the stars we see across the entire history of the universe, those galaxies would have to make hundreds of stars every single year. Imagine for a moment that just one of these galaxies that you see is actually real. It would completely challenge everything we thought we knew about the vast expanse of the universe. Though the evidence is pointing mostly towards galaxies, the astronomers are telling that they might be quasars or even sub-supermassive black holes. Regardless, the quantity of mass revealed means that the known mass of stars at this moment in our universe is up to 100 times larger than previously assumed. Even if these sample sizes were cut in half, this is still a remarkable change. The Hubble Space Telescope's previous imaging of the early cosmos did not discover these huge galaxies, but JWST is nearly 100 times more powerful than Hubble. Since its launch, the Space Observatory has been delivering on its promise of reading the oldest chapters of the universe's history in its smallest glimmers of light. And you see, this is not the only time James Webb has made us reconsider our knowledge of the universe. Last year, its one single discovery put the Big Bang Theory into question. You see, the expansion began approximately 13.5 billion years ago. Our entire universe was hot and dense. That's how many people were probably exposed to the Big Bang Theory, which states that our universe came from a single dot called Singularity. This single dot swelled and stretched over the next 13.8 billion years to create the ever-expanding cosmos that we know today. In 1996, with a $1 million budget, astronomers, physicists, and engineers from all around the world set out to build something that would replace the Hubble Space Telescope a piece of space technology unlike anything the world had ever seen. With numerous delays and setbacks and billions of dollars spent on this project, after almost 20 years in production, James Webb Space Telescope was finally created. This technology is rewriting our view of the universe and in turn our cosmic beginnings and history in the cosmos.
times. The goal behind this was to create a massive time machine that would give us glimpses of the cosmos at its infancy rather than one that would allow us to physically travel back in time. However, given how far back in time we are searching, there will inevitably be some unpleasant shocks. Though we have already been thrilled by its power of exploring the universe, James Webb recently dropped the largest surprise of all time, which is causing panic in the hearts of cosmologists, astronomers, and regular people like you and me. With each new discovery, James Webb has been identifying gaps in our knowledge of the universe. And this is by far the most surprising discovery of them all. And it's forcing scientists to reevaluate everything they thought they knew about the cosmos. Recent findings of some of the oldest galaxies by James Webb might actually prove the Big Bang Theory wrong. Although there have always been skepticisms about the conventional cosmological model, this revelation has everyone in a state of shock. Currently, science is focused on challenging everything, but it's frightful to say the least to see such a major cosmic event being questioned. How did we come into being if the Big Bang did not occur? How did all of these planets, galaxies, stars, and nebula form? Who is stretching the fabric of the universe? Are we a part of an advanced alien simulation that was built for us? or the designers of our cosmos something entirely outside of our comprehension. I apologize for going off on this tangent. I'm not sure about you, but this new finding has made me doubt reality as we know it and given me a persistent, nagging sense of dread. So let's pause to gather our thoughts before turning around. With all the evidence revealed, I believe the Big Bang never happened, and James Webb actually showed the signs of it. Don't believe me? Let's take a look at the three incidents. Incident number one. The initial findings from the James Webb Telescope appear to point to old, large, and brilliant galaxies that had formed within the first 250 million years following the Big Bang. A single one of these galaxies, Sears 93316, was already in existence 235 million years after the Big Bang. Because this galaxy is so far away, it took 13.5 billion years for their light to reach us. Many more of these galaxies seem to be larger than predicted by the prevalent cosmological model that defies the structure and development of the universe. The discovery of these old, smooth galaxies so soon after the Big Bang should have taken place is concerning. They had to have begun forming before the Big Bang because it would have not been possible for them to fully form into the galaxies we see today in the 250 million years since the Big Bang. But everything in our universe began with the Big Bang. So, the question is, did the Big Bang actually occur? Incident number two. In this image, two galaxies that are equal to our own milky galaxy in luminosity and mass appear to be two to three times smaller than in comparable Hubble images, and the new galaxies have red shifts that are likewise two to three times greater. To further emphasize the point, the optical illusion causes objects at high redshift to look larger and dimmer resulting in a significant fall in the ratio of perceived brightness to apparent area with redshift. However, surface brightness is absolutely constant with distance based on studies of tens of thousands of galaxies, as would be predicted in a universe that is not expanding. Observations also revealed that there was no surface brightness dimming which is not at all consistent with an expanding cosmos. The furthest galaxies in the JWST's images are viewed as they were only 400 to 500 million years after the beginning of the universe in accordance with the Big Bang Theory. However, some galaxies have already revealed star populations that are more than a billion years old. The presence of these galaxies once again proves that the Big Bang did not actually happen, as nothing could have started before it. Three proponents of the Big Bang Theory respond to this by speculating that galaxies were considerably smaller in the past and have since grown significantly, explaining the surface brightness. However, observations have also refuted this correction, demonstrating that there haven't been enough galaxy mergers to achieve the required growth rates. Additionally, the hypothesized ultra-small galaxies would have had to have more mass and stars than total mass, which is obviously impossible. Despite this and other arguments, let's presume that the Big Bang did occur. Therefore, no galaxies could be older than the Big Bang itself. This implies that there would have been fewer galaxies. And finally, none as Webb looked farther back in time and into space. However, a current study which has not yet been accepted for publication shows that galaxies as big as the Milky Way are frequent in even a few hundred million years after the proposed bang. The latest Webb photos, according to the scientists, demonstrate that there are at least 100,000 times more galaxies than what theorists expected at redshifts greater than 10. Such a rampant generation of massive galaxies is not possible. So, once again, no big deal. But why isn't this news gaining as much attention as, say, the latest Jupiter image? 
Why aren't major news channels covering the demise of the Big Bang Theory? Unfortunately, financing for cosmology comes from a small number of government sources that are overseen by a few committees dominated by Big Bang theorists. These theorists have dedicated their lives to developing the Big Bang idea. Those who publicly challenge the theory are simply not funded, but the truth always finds its way. And as the web continues to capture images of the early universe, it's only a matter of time until we start focusing on a true genesis story for the universe, rather than the traditional one we've been fed for decades. Now, since we are talking about looking back in time a lot, what if I told you that time is an illusion? Check this video to find out.